She is the most elegantest, and she knows it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon Sword. We change costumes. We change costumes and uh, customizations. Not really costumes. Costumes as well, really, but, you know. Shut up. <laughs> Outfit and hair and... Anyway, I did a lot of max rating, so I got screenshots of Pokédex entries and fun other screenshots. Misery. This Pokémon was born from sweet-smelling particles in the air. Its body is made of cream. Cream. Combi. The members of the trio spend all their time together. Each one has a slightly different taste in nectar. So I'm going to make the most original joke you've ever heard, and... Everybody's going to love it, and it's become a, gonna become like a worldwide meme for years. Why is this a male one? <laughs> <laughs> Not the bees. <laughs> There's my original joke. You're welcome. That was a nice spaceballs reference. <laughs> exactly. I also got this screenshot while doing stuff. I still don't know what face. What is that face? I'm. G it's just like. I'm going it, for Nathan's a be, a moments before moments before the Pokeball hits her in the face. <laughs> like, coming at her. Like, like <coughs> every time I'm like, oh, it's this face, I look at it again, I'm like, but it, it's just not quite right. It's like, in between, I am happy and oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in danger! In, it's like in the exact in-between where it's not either one. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> so it's just like, what? I... This is not... This is not a face that you sit on. This is a face that you move through <laughs> to get to other faces. Well, of course you shouldn't sit on it. Only certain people have that fetish. Anyway, that's the thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> that's going to be the thumbnail for this part. Yeah, of course. Ralts. Uh, it is highly attuned to the emotions of people in Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. Hey, it's a fairy type now. Hey. Hoo hoo. It always stands on one foot. It, it changes feet so fast the movement can rarely be seen. Yes, changed. <laughs> Want to see me change feet? I'm, which feet I'm standing on? So yeah, I'll see if, me do if, it again. <laughs> if you're wondering how, I didn't actually level up anyone, but I got these for later. So anyway, let's have a little th fun with Milsery here. Level 25, sweet. I got this from a ma from the Max Raid event that was actually happening on Valentine's Day, Be and it was and it was just just po this cream Pokemon that that gave you sweets as well whenever you caught it. Nice. So just for fun, we should give a sweet to them. So strawberry, love, berry, clover, flower, or star. Which one, Joel? Uh, no, this doesn't mean anything. Star, because it's the shape of a pow poof fruit. Hmm. A star sh Huh. When a milsery holds this, it spins around happily. Maybe we should join it. Yes. Ow. I'll see. Off screen is evolving! <laughs> and whatever you gave it becomes the little things in its head. I see. I love this touch. <laughs> I love that touch where, where whatever you give it is what it gets on the top of its head. Merely cosmetic, too. The moment it evolved, it took on a sweet and tart flavor. This is because of the way its cells spontaneously shifted during evolution. <laughs> huh. This sounds worse and worse the more I think about it.
Sure, why not? Uh, why does all of its moves kiss? You have to keep them. Well, we're not using it anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> so, it's a Valentine's Pokemon, and most of its moves are kissing related. Two kisses and a track. So, two kisses and blowing a kiss, basically. And the sexy, sexy stare with its yellow eyes. And decorate! I don't remember what that does. Huh. We have one of the moves, it's fine. We just have the kiss where we drain your life. I guess it's one of those marriages where the girl takes all the money. <laughs> I don't know. I'm reaching. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to, to show off Milsuri's evolution since <laughs> that was the perfect time to show it. <laughs> I'm actually kind of terrified by this thing now. Off screen is scaring me. <laughs> Anyway, I got some TMs as- I got a bunch of TMs as well. There you go. Okay, also gonna put some on. For example, Constance will be getting body press. The user attacks by slamming its body into the target. The higher the user's defense, the more damage it can inflict on the target. I'm getting rid of rest, because I doubt I'll ever use rest. Dan doesn't know the rest confirms. And secondly, Waterfall. A physical water move. Which is what- which is uh, why I feel it's a lot better than- <laughs> So in- bec but because Aqua Jet is still really good as a quick attack move, getting rid of Fury Attack. Fury Attack seemed like the move that would be the best to get rid of. Sorry for the very long intro, but a lot of stuff was happening off screen. For example, Mystery Gift! Connecting. Please stand by. You're now connected to the internet! Hooray! Please choose the gift you want to receive. So this one, so th the item set gift here is actually from a max raid event that Nintendo was holding, where if you beat a million of a certain, if everyone in the world beat a million of a certain Pokemon, not everyone beats a million, but everyone got a cumulative total of a million, they send you, send you stuff through mystery gift. So people did it, so we get it. Stars. It's so shiny. Flame Orb, Toxic Orb, Light Ball, Gold Bottle Cap, Bottle Cap, and Pearl String. So a bunch of items for Pokemon and, and selling items. Anyway, it's finally time to play the game! And by that, I mean explore the huge town that we have here. Now that we're finally in a new town. Oh boy, Harry. <laughs> you are a min, a min chemo. Interested in trading it for my Courtney? Well, should we s trade Shally? Should we trade Shally? <laughs> sure. Okay. Trade it. If I were trading my min chemo with me. Bye, Shally. <laughs> Grazia. Huh. I'm regretting this already. <laughs> Candy floss. <laughs> okay. This episode's weird. <laughs> it shoots cotton from its body to protect itself. If it gets caught up in a hurricane strength winds, it can get sent to the other side of the earth. Wait, we're on earth?
Thanks, mate. You just made my day. I took real good care of it. <laughs> Why is everyone turning into Hop's voice? <laughs> Get a whiff of that fragrance. I'll duck some incense for you, girl. Okay, power up moves. Or other stuff. I'm back any time. The steaks aren't that bad when you cook with your mates. At least they make for funny stories. You're one of those people. Hey, yep. Well, to the morning <laughs> shop. Let's see what you buy, shall we? Really good, good items if you don't, if you like your Pokemon not liking you because it's bitter. Cheers, mate. You're a new trouble in the gym challenge if you take the time to train up now. I feel all the time you spend trying to make up your mind. The true answer to shopping. How old are you? I'm dying. I'm not old, I'm just dying. Sharon Rose, can I have your autograph? So yeah, we actually can't go see Chairman Rose until we actually finish the gym, which will be next episode. <laughs> Restores a little HP every time it inflicts damage. I used to use it a lot, uh, mostly on like Pokemon with Mega Drain. <laughs> so every time you healed with Mega Drain, you'd also heal from the Shell Bell. Oh, never mind, that's the end of the town. We're blocking off this route to get in the way of gym challenges. You got that? Even the females have that voice. <laughs> oh. That's the fact that they're both. Yeah, they're really hard to Armani's notice. Armani's all done with all three. Armani's all done with the sea. Armani defeats seven leader, and she'll bring us all sweet victory. When did Elephant get here? <laughs> 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 we are so in sync. <laughs> anyway, time to barge into people's houses. I have Champion Leon's lead card too. I didn't say anything <laughs> about having that. Oh, you know. <laughs> Are you a psychic type Pokemon? I remember when Professor Magnolia first presented her findings on the Dynamax phenomenon. The whole Galar region was in such a spin. There's not of a spin as us. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it on cue whenever you ask. Not a single bite today, but I still need to polish my gear. I mean, Pokemon are bound to bite if my gear's nice and shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still! Okay, for a sec- for like, a split second, my brain thought that the beware was just hanging off the end of her pole. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking care of the house while Mom and Dad are out! It's hiding, but my Pokemon is here to help too! Uh... Does she mean a different one? I mean, I got my Pokemon I wonder where the Pokemon is. <laughs> Wait, they left their kids alone with Kirby? That doesn't seem safe, actually. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, free full heal! <laughs> a good fisher is also a good Pokemon trait. That's because a fisher has to make quick judgments to adjust to changes in the sea. Don't catch too many Pokemon! That'll deplete the sea life! Looking at you, shiny hunters! <laughs> Pokemon? Well, for Eevee and Ivy training. I gotta find the shiny Pokemon with the right EVs! Bro catches like 50 shinies. 
I've got high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger, of course. <laughs> now I don't feel important at all. Huh. It's hard to tell if the Rupa is me female or male. Can you do it? I didn't know oh, Whoopers wow, had a difference. <laughs> Uh, this actually reminds me of something. So, hmm. a friend of my, like, like, a friend of my family, they had uh, this cat that they named. They had a cat named Jade. Hmm. Well, one time Jade got, one time Jade got sick, so they took her to the vet, and then they found out that Jade was a boy. <laughs> so they renamed her Jaden. <laughs> my sister also did that. The same thing. <laughs> called called uh, this one cat Lucy for like five years. It, she finally brings it to a vet because it was technically homeless. Oh, so she finally brings Lucy to a vet. It's male. They rename it Louie. <laughs> it was it, and and my sister will always call it the brave big sister of the group. That cat was called a sister for five years of its life. <laughs> Everything my mom cooks is yummy, and everything at the restaurant is also yummy. You're yummy, too. <laughs> I'm a cannibal. <laughs> if the chimney gets too weak, that gym will be relegated to the minor division. Oh, so that's why Brock's not a gym leader <laughs> anymore in the anime, whenever he's off with Ash. I didn't know this area was here, by the way. <laughs> I never actually went all the way up here. Ah, uh, good old America. <laughs> hey, here's what this stuff does. It actually makes Pikachu worthwhile! <laughs> Who would have thought? Five thousand dollars for a bottle. Two thousand five hundred dollars for a bottle cap. Where are we, Fallout? <laughs> war. War never changes. Plays Metal Gear Solid Five. War has changed. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Insert major Fallout character here. Impossible. <laughs> That voice doesn't fit with any of them. <laughs> now this is really stoic about how oh, come on. She made her gym. What the hell really is that tough. one guy doing? I, I remember what I did the gym challenge! I never did get the water back! <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> anyway, like every water type gym leader, she's not at the gym. <laughs> Ever since Misty started that trend, every water gym leader's been like that, it feels like. Gallery is a huge island. Lighthouses have always been a really important and popping should find their way. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thought a Cinderay could give me such good advice. Why does Nessa love the lighthouse so much? I wonder where we're gonna find her. Probably in hell. We say, well, she's right there. <laughs> Hello, person that everyone simped over when this game was first announced. <laughs> you must be a gym challenger, right? 
How did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? You become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. We're wondering how you keep changing your appearance every gym. <laughs> Here you go, Miss Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching to battle with you. You weren't even fishing when I got here, you were just staring <laughs> at the water. They just couldn't be bothered to animate it, okay? If this was Kingdom Hearts, we'd see the whole walk over to the gym. <laughs> There's one scene, okay? Statue of the Pokemon in the center of the lighthouse. That's what our Toxel's gonna grow up into. One of them. I don't know which one. I haven't bothered to check which abilities <laughs> are which. Give you which. Hey, we should probably read Nessa's card and not be like Nathan. Yes, I'm Nathan. I am gonna mention it every time that you didn't read these until a bonus episode at the end. Even though the game tells you to, how to read them. Her father is a fisher, and her mother works in the marketplace. Perhaps because of her parents, she grew up playing with water-type Pokémon, and eventually made it all the way to becoming a gym leader. She met Sonya during their gym challenge, and they continue to be close friends. Nessa also get, often gives Sonya some fresh seafood from Holberry. She has declared that Milo of, of Turfield is her rival, but Milo responded by saying that his rival is himself. <laughs> Oof. Well, considering of what- That might just be- or that- you, you could say that's a positive outlook. That he's just- he's just- he doesn't care about- He doesn't care about rivalries with other people, he just want, wants to focus on self-improvement. Yeah, like making it so he doesn't have a baby face with freckles. <laughs> No offense to anyone with baby faces with freckles. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with baby faces with freckles? I just said no offense to them. <laughs> Holberry Stadium. Never would have guessed. Alright, let's see here. What Pokemon's actually gonna work here? <laughs> uh, if only our poison electric type wasn't this <laughs> at the moment. Oh, you can just use Leon, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everyone, give him the look. Wait. <laughs> you can't fine. see him. Uh, Bruce, Constance, or Vegeta? I mean, really, either of them would work. I Which mean, one? Bruce is really resistant to water moves. Okay, Bruce it is. Does Bruce even have that good of a move choice, for, though? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he yeah. has Pro Chop. He's fine. Terry. <laughs> hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I see you have a fishing rod. In that case, I've got the perfect Pokeball for you. There you go, lure ball. Now we can the Pokeball. If this topic. if this was this is Nathan's voice where he gave Edge Angelo's voice to this guy. I know what he'd be luring in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that. If you manage to catch a Pokemon <laughs> using your fishing rod, then it's time to use that lure ball. 
It's the absolute best Pokeball for people who like Pokemon that live in the water. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Well, I could just use Zoltar. I hate my life, it's hot in here. I could also just use Ultra Ball. Swan to Dynamax. Might be a good idea to think ahead about which Pokemon is able to withstand Ness's max moves. Ness is strong, and that's what's beautiful. <laughs> Going off the person's pose, not girls being strong. I like girls being strong. 90% of my waifus could kick my ass. <laughs> Don't think about Jamelia, is Nessa okay? Promise! That's the same lady as before, isn't it? Yep. Why do we have to figure out a puzzle just to face the gym leader? Maybe it's to, to, to tell us trainers that we need to have some mental flexibility? Maybe it's to make the game design more interesting. Nah! Okay, 26 minutes. We wasted enough time. <laughs> Next time on Pokemon Sword, we challenge the water gym. Hooray. Challenge the gym of water. Why?